Lesson 1, China Reunites. Before we begin reading, we're going to review the questions that we need to answer. Number 1, what is a dynasty? Number 2, how are Yang Di and Tai Zong different as rulers? Number 3, underline the reason the Tang Dynasty ended. And number 4, how did the Grand Canal help China's economy? China rebuilds its empire. China's Han Empire ended in AD 220. For the next 300 years, Chinese warlords fought with each other. China finally unified again under a general named Wendy. He set up a new dynasty called the Sui in which emperors ruled. After Wendy died, his son Yang Di became emperor. Yang Di rebuilt the Great Wall. Yang Di's biggest accomplishment, however, was building the Grand Canal. The Grand Canal was used to ship products between northern and southern China. It helped make China's economy stronger. Yang Di made life very hard for the Chinese people. However, he made farmers work on the Great Wall and the Grand Canal. The people also had to pay for these projects with high taxes. The farmers became so angry that they killed Yang Di. When Yang Di died, the Sui dynasty ended. In AD 618, one of Yang Di's generals made himself emperor. He set up a new dynasty called the Tang. The most powerful Tang emperor was Tai Zong. He went back to using special tests called civil service examinations for choosing government officials. Tai Zong also gave land to farmers and brought order to the countryside. During the late 8600s, a woman named Wu became the only woman in Chinese history to rule the country on her own. As a strong leader, Empress Wu made the government bigger. She also made the military stronger. Improvements and Reforms Soy brought back law and order, built Grand Canal, and helped Chinese economy grow. Tang brought back civil service examinations, gave land to farmers, brought order to the countryside, and made the military stronger. China grew strong again under the Tang. In the mid-AD 700s, however, the Tang dynasty began to have problems. A new group of wandering people took control of Central Asia and the Silk Road, an important trade route. Chinese farmers and people in Tibet also rose up against the Tang. The dynasty ended in AD 907.